All right, B14, problem number three, fact, factor completely, okay? So, if I want to do that, remember the first thing you always look for when you factor in is the greatest common factor, right? So, in this case, I have a greatest common factor. It's going to be five. I can take five into all three of those terms. Sometimes there is a greatest common factor, sometimes they're not. Either way, that's what you should always be looking for, okay? So, the greatest common factor is five, so I factor it out. That's how I start those. I say, well, it's 5, so I'm going to factor out the 5, and then it's going to be 5 times what? Use my parentheses to indicate multiplication, would give me that. Okay, so 5 times what gives you 5x squared? x squared. 5 times what gives you the plus 15x? Plus 3x. 5 times what gives me negative 5? Oh, it has to be negative 1. Okay. So that's the first step. Look for the greatest common factor. In this case, there is one into five. I factor out. I'm left with this. Now, this should you should recognize as one of those um, second degree uh, three term polynomials, right? Which typically we we can factor as the product of two linear factors if they factor. Okay. So I have to ask myself, does that factor further? Uh, remember, what we need to do here is find two numbers that multiply together. If you want, you can put a one there. Two numbers that multiply together to give you negative one. That's using that AC method that your book discusses. All right, the AC would be negative one, and your B term here is three, or the number B would be three. So you need two numbers that multiply together to give you AC at negative one, and add together to give you B. If this is going to factor, this quadratic in here is going to factor. Um, so there's no numbers, right? There's no two numbers that multiply together to give you that, negative one, and add together to give you three. The only two numbers that multiply together to give you negative one would be one and negative one. That is integers that multiply together to give you negative one. One and negative one, they can't add together to be three, okay? So I'm done. That's my answer. Remember, once we factor out a greatest common factor, you should always look, like, look for what you have left to see if it factors further. Okay, in this case, um, it's an easy one, right? Only greatest common factor. Um, I checked it to see if it factored as the product of two linear terms, and it doesn't, so I'm done. Okay, that's number three. Keep working. Remember, you got to do your homework in here in order to pass the